Hello, Sankitna. Could you please introduce yourself? I'm Sankitna. I've completed my BEC in 2024. Okay. My technical skills are AWS DevOps okay. and C language. Mm -hmm. My major project is piezoelectric footwear for diabetic patients and data analytics. Okay. So why did we choose this project is to tell the importance of sustainable energy and the need of rehabilitation for diabetic patients. Okay. And the main motive of this is like, we'll be providing piezoelectric sensors in the, in the footwear. So when the patient keep walking on the footwear, the energy is uh, taken from the piezoelectric footwear and converted into electrical energy. And this energy is stored in the battery. And from the battery, we'll be providing the energy to the LCD screen, to the voltage divider and to the node MCU. Okay. So we'll be providing a vibrator for the rehabilitation. When they feel like there is not having a uh, good blood circulation in their foot, we'll be providing the rehabilitation with that. What are the services you are aware in AWS? A VPC, EC2, security groups, target groups, EBS, EFS. Okay. Uh, what is the major difference between EBS and EFS? EBS is called as Elastic Block Store and EFS is called as Elast Elastic File Store. Okay. EBS can be attached to only one instance, but EFS can be attached to many instances. Okay. So, what are the storage types we have in EBS? Uh, general Purpose, Proficient IOPS, Magnetic Types. Okay. What are the types of storage classes we have in S3? We have six classes, sir. Okay. Standard, Standard 1A, okay. uh, Standard Intelligent Tiring, okay. One Zone 1A, okay. uh, S3 Glacier, S3 okay. Glacier d -Pad. Okay. So, is there any price difference? Yes, sir. When we are going down from the six classes, cost will get uh, decreasing. Decrease. What is S3 life cycle? It is like uh, the same thing. So, every uh, step we get down from the classes, the uh, cost will be getting decreased. Okay. Uh, is there any uh, to any any service that we can monitor our servers? Cloud Watch. So, what is the major difference between Cloud Trail and Cloud Watch? Cloud Trail is like to know who is uh, like what did they change at what time, but okay. Cloud who is doing what? Who is doing what? Okay. Cloud Watch will tell you like how much is the CPU utilization? Are we uh, providing like doing more utilization on it? Okay, fine. Is there any? I mean, you have a three tier architecture. Yes. Yes. So, like web. App and then database. Yes, sir. So everything is ready, but how do you protect your application? Firstly, we'll keep WAF sir, for not, like not error. What is WAF? Web application firewall. It's okay. like it won't allow unauthorized uh, or malicious, uh, malicious traffic. traffic. Yes. Sir. Okay. What is different between load balancer and auto scaling? Load balancer will load the uh, balance between the applications. Or the uh, between the applications or servers? Servers like EC2 servers. EC2 yeah. servers. Uh, these uh, these two servers or three servers. How to be in the same region or different region? They can be in any region. Sir. Any region or different region? Different regions. Different region. Also fine. Uh, if they really will be in the same region, you can, I mean, the load bands is not going to work. No, sir. No, it will be in different region, yes, then the load bands is going to work. Yes. Okay. What about auto scaling? Auto so, scaling. what are the basic things we need to create auto scaling? We need EC2 instance, AMI. What is AMI? Amazon Machine Image. So, uh, how do you get this and what what happens when you get this AMI? This AMI is used to give the launch template things, like take the EC2 things in the AMI, then okay. like tell the OS, the data, everything from EC2 will be connect, uh, contained in the AMI. Okay. This will be attached to launch templates. Okay. So we have to do make this load uh, load balancer, which is target group load okay. balancer and then go for auto scaling. Okay, oh, scaling. So, do you go with minimum and maximum or? Uh, yes, sir. Minimum will be two. Like I took two, okay. maximum is five. So, when we till uh, uh, go with the three or four, when what, what, at what condition it increases the service? When the load is like, uh, we will be giving two instances. If the uh, instance gets full, will like uh, automatically it will increase the instance. How it will get full? By giving stress. So, if we, if we keep on doing any. So, do we go of, with any threshold value? Maybe around 50. Sir. 50. I won't touch. Yes. What is versioning? It, that will tell the difference between old and new. Okay. So, how do you get? I mean, this is one new, this is one new. Does it generate any ID? Yes, sir. Everything will be having a unique ID. Okay. So, I unfortunately deleted my file, latest version. Yes, sir. So, I want to recover that. Is it possible? Yes, sir. It is possible. We will be storing this versioning in S3 buckets. So, uh, we will be giving the restoring things in that. So, if at all we delete here, it will be available in there also. I deleted here, but uh, do we get a delete marker? Yes, sir, we get it. So, what happens when you delete the delete marker? Only then the, it will be uh, restored the restore. original. Okay, document. fine. So, how do you take the backup of your RDS? We'll use snapshots. Okay, snapshot. So, uh, 
other thing do you have any other aws services to take the back do you heard about any aws back yes it is so what what is the use of that the same thing sir like it will be pro like if at all we do it in one server like one region we'll be storing it in different multiple AZ zones like availability zones okay. so if it in case it gets it in one zone it'll be available in any other zones we'll use snapshot also to save this to save this fine so what are the uh, difference between the vpc peering transit gateway vpc peering can be done only within two vpc sir okay. whereas transmit gateway can do it from uh, like more than three three or four we can only okay so it's all. what is dynamo db different between dynamo db and uh, sql I mean uh, RDS and Madan Modi. SQL sir, it will be like formatted form and it is server based. Mm -hmm. When it comes to new SQL, we don't have any format. Mm -hmm. It's serverless. How can you maintain application high available and scalable? We have to store it in multiple zones. And we have to take the rest, uh, back zones or uh, availability zones. Yes, availability zones. zones. Okay. And we have to make a snapshot. Like uh, we have to restore okay. it. Back and scalability. It. Scalability. We have to maintain the CPU. Uh, scalability auto scaling or uh, CPU. So auto scaling out then is a scalable. Ah, auto scaling is a yes. network to get. So you go with the single AZ, uh, single AZ RDS or multi AZ RDS. Multi AZ. So advantages of multi AZ. High availability, scalability, performance will be high. High. Okay. What happens if the primary DB fail over? We we'll go to standby. Okay, so standby. So the uh, writer will become. Re like writer reader will be there. If writer fails, reader will become writer again. Writer again. Fine.